Greetings to all truth searchers. It's nice to see everyone here once more. This is the unfiltered news and analysis you get every day. Gentlemen and ladies, we are seeing, today, a very fascinating development about Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and the One Young World Summit 2023. Meghan was kicked out of the esteemed event and replaced by the elegant Queen Rena of Jordan, but it seems that Meghan's voracious appetite for attention has gotten the better of her. Before we begin, please contain your enthusiasm. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Ring bell the One Young World Summit, a prominent meeting of young leaders from across the world focused on social impact and transformation, is something you won't want to miss. It serves as a forum for people to interact, discuss important world issues, and be inspired to take constructive action. Meghan and Prince Harry Grace had previously attended the summit in 2022, but Meghan's invitation seems to have been misplaced in the mail this year, and Queen Ronia of Jordan was selected to go instead. So why the abrupt alteration? It seems, nevertheless, that some individuals were left with a bad taste in their mouths after Meghan's address at the Manchester Young World Summit. In a seven-minute speech centered on a debate on gender equality, Meghan made no less than 54 allusions to herself. However, the speech was intended to be focused on gender equality. Meghan seems to have directed it towards her own happiness as a mother and her marriage to Prince Harry. Yes, personal stories are compelling, but when they are used in a speech intended to address global challenges, people tend to take notice. It's impossible not to question if Meghan came out in her speech as self-centered rather than as someone who truly cares about the subject. The crowd, which was mostly made up of young people anxious to change the world, could not have thought that Meghan's remarks aligned with the empowering message they were anticipating inward S.E. Meghan's speech was harshly criticized by the editor-in-chief of Muck magazine, who called it, just me me me. Sharing personal experiences is one thing, but speaking exclusively about oneself is quite another, particularly at a gathering aimed at resolving urgent global issues. Let us now jump ahead to the 2023 summit in Belfast, when Queen Rana of Jordan ascended the stage in place of Meghan. Reports from the crowd indicate about 100 people booed from behind the barrier, and some of them even carried banners denouncing Harry and Meghan as imposters. She certainly seems to have a reputation. One lesson to be learned from this is the risk of losing perspective when one is in the spotlight. Without a question, Meghan has had an incredible career from actress to duchess to her current position. Every step seems to have increased in significance. You may have lost out on an opportunity to conduct meaningful conversations about important global issues because you believed your own hype. The organizers of the Young World Summit deliberately chose to invite Queen Rainer of Jordan in place of Meghan this year. Throughout her address, which was webcast on a number of social media sites, Ronia seemed to be really interested in getting to know the audience and listening to the tales of the refugees. What thoughts do you people have on this? Tell us in the comments section, and we'll check back for more the next time. News and analysis from Royal.